Too. Welcome to Restaurant Andre. Through the forest hand in hand, jumping over streams, talking about our dreams. We laugh, we smile, we dance. Would you give it one more chance? First of all, when you when you first come into the restaurant, you will first notice about the olive tree. Yeah. This is the olive tree that uh, we started uh, before the restaurant opened. So it's an olive tree that we bring in from south of France, okay. where where I started my uh, career. Mm -hmm. So that's why it has a very, I'm very attached to the the, the olive tree. I see. We both travel together to Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now we show you a little bit of our uh, restaurant. Yeah. So first, when you when you come into this area, I realize that uh, um, Bukit Paso, all the restaurant is. Uh, uh, all the building here is built between 1920s to 1930s, so it's really an RT um, mm -hmm. an area, same as this building. Okay. And it's a three-floor building. Mm -hmm. uh, we convert it into a, like a restaurant, but still keep it very personal. Mm -hmm. So here we only have two tables, so it's a two-chef table that you can overlook at the, the kitchen at the back where you will see me cooking. So it's quite special. A lot of people, they specially book the table uh, here at the chef table because they can see a bit of action. So what attracted you about this place? It's very personal and intimate. Mm. In fact, uh, we really want the guests to feel that it's coming to Andre's house. Mm. It's not coming to a, a, another restaurant. Yeah. Now we walk into the second floor. First you look and we have a little back terrace. So here again, very uh, uh, cozy. We didn't have uh, too much decoration, yeah, but it's a very personal terrace. Not, not so much uh, uh, like a restaurant look. And here you can see the third floor. Third floor is my office and my atelier. I see. Yeah, so where we kept all my collections, my collection of uh, uh, wines, uh, pottery, my sketch, painting, sculpture, um, all at the third floor. It's um, like kind of my private space. I see. And inside of the second floor, as you can see, it's so all the small tables. Mm. So this floor, we cater for all like a two, three, four uh, table of guests. Yeah, so it's very different. Compared to the first floor, first floor it's a little bit more actions and people a bit more interaction with the uh, chefs in the kitchen and kind of like a live stadium. And this floor is more elegant because it was um, it was a living room of the house, so it still create that the living room uh, look. If you notice carefully, the tablecloth it's. Um, have a print of a tree bark. Ah, uh, yes. Right? Yes. It's a very faint, but you can tell. Yeah, it's a tree. It's still like a tree bark. Cause I'm very, mm. I, I like very much the the natural yeah. element. So even the tablecloth, you know, it's it's specially selected with something with the tree bark on it. Cause downstairs we have a tree. Wood. Yeah. Yeah tree on the table. So mm. second floor, a little bit more elegant, but you still have that tree. Uh, feeling and sheep. Yes, <laughs> so that's very natural as well. So walking up to the third floor, uh, here is just some of my uh, accolades. So I don't know where to put all that, so I just put it uh, uh, all here. Yeah. So get into the third floor. First thing you see will be uh, the the sculptures of a squid and that's also I, I do it myself. Ah, yeah. Why squid? Uh, the reason that I, I choose a squid is that it has a different um, form. It can show the different movement. Mm. It's not uh, like a lobsters or fish. Ah. that you, you cannot really see the expression. But through the tentacles you can see the the different expression of uh, of a squid, whether they are in a different uh, mood, that this one is more angry and that one is like smiling, 
you, know, you can see their, their, their expression. Well, Little Prince is one of my favorite books. And so I always have it have many different versions of, uh, of Little Prince. And also a lot of um, people know that I like Little Prince. So they'll give me a Little Prince uh, book, T-shirt, card. Wow. Yeah. So those are the books that uh, we wish we... So what do you read for inspiration? I don't read cookbooks. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Then what I, do you read? I read something that is, is completely nothing to do with cooking. So I look like a uh, architecture book and uh, design, fashion. Uh, yeah, painting, pottery. Uh, yeah, I read something that's nothing to do with cooking. You know, flavors. It's 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 kind of an instinct for us. Yeah. So to pairing with different flavors, you're looking for some uh, textures, you're looking for some di different dimensions. Mm -hmm. And what you need is not uh, what you get from the cookbooks. Okay, right. That's it.